Hello and welcome one more time. My name is Alex Centeno. And in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at how to add different clips to different timelines. So each one of the clips is gonna have its own unique timeline. That's pretty exciting in itself. But the most important thing is that we're gonna do it in whatever track we want. So uh, the DaVinci Resolve official API doesn't allow you to select tracks uh, via Python. So you can't uh, include different clips in different parts of the timeline. It only does it with track number one for the video. So in this episode, we're gonna learn how to change tracks. And, uh, and also we're going to share a special coupon code if you're interested in the DaVinci Resolve cheat sheet that is available for purchase at alexthecreative.com. So if you are interested in getting that with a discount, then throughout this video, we're going to share a special code for you. If you're excited, I'm excited. Let's get to it. All right, I am here in my editor and uh, the first line here is gonna be the shebang for Python. And then I'm gonna be calling foundation, which we do in every video. So if you are following the channel uh, and if you have liked or subscribed, you would see this often, but uh, let me show you what it is anyways. Uh, basically, uh, when we're using DaVinci Resolve, the API uh, with Python, there are things that we do over and over again. And so instead of having to type those every time, then we call them foundation and then we add them to this file. So that's that line. And then we're importing a couple of other modules that we're gonna use later on. The first function here that we're defining is called change track. And it's gonna take two parameters. The first one is the track number the second one is the type of track, which we're not going to be elaborating just yet, but maybe in a future video, we'll change this so that we can also change for audio tracks. Uh, but uh, for now, we're gonna just be using it for video. And, uh, and then we're going to have key codes for each one of the keys. So basically what we're doing is that since the API doesn't allow us to change tracks, uh, we are going to use the OS uh, to change the tracks by kind of replicating the keystrokes inside of DaVinci Resolve. So we're going to take a look at that, but this is the corresponding uh, codes for each one of the tracks. And uh, basically we convert that to a string and then we are going to select the track code based on the selected uh, video track that we are uh, entering into the function. This is the code. So we're gonna use script, uh, and then we're going to tell DaVinci Resolve to activate and then uh, we're gonna use the system events to use the key combination that we created here. So if it's track number one, then it's gonna be uh, key 18. If it's track number two, then 19 and so on. So basically, we're going to visit DaVinci Resolve and enter virtually a keystroke combination. And then uh, we have our main function. So the main function is going to just grab our videos. In this case, I just have them in a folder in my desktop and it's going to assign them to folder and then it's going to add the item list to the media pool. Uh, in other words, adds all of the files that it finds, all of the media inside of that folder, it adds them to the media pool. And then we're going to run a loop. Basically, we are uh, creating unique IDs for those media items. And then we're going to duplicate a timeline that I have named template. And, uh, and then um, we just add those videos, each one to the timeline. So we duplicate timeline after timeline after timeline with the number of videos that we find in the folder. Now you may be wondering, why don't we just use create timeline with clips as opposed to duplicate timeline? And that's a great question. And the reason is because in order to change tracks, we have to have a timeline that already, that already has a given number of tracks. So if we were to create a new timeline from scratch, it would only have one 
uh, track and therefore we wouldn't be able to change uh, to different tracks. So that's why we have to duplicate a timeline. That way we can select a timeline that already has more than one track. Uh, now, if you don't really remember what are the method names for each one of the things we're calling here, that's when we are uh, gonna uh, take advantage of the cheat sheet from alexacreator.com. So let me show you. So the cheat sheet allows us to just enter here, for example, what I remember is duplicate, and it filters automatically the different uh, methods of the API so that I can just uh, easily identify the one that I'm using. So in this case is duplicate timeline with the timeline name that I want to give it. And I could just copy paste this and then use it in my code. So uh, that way I don't have to be, you know, exploring the official documentation, which is pretty dry. And this is um, uh, super inexpensive. It's less than $10 for the, uh, for the cheat sheet. So you can purchase that at alexthecreative.com if you want. And uh, if you were paying attention, we're gonna have a coupon code at the end of this video for that if you're interested. So, um, so we're gonna duplicate the timeline and then we're going to change in this case to track number two. So I'm gonna change that to number two and uh, we're gonna sleep for one second uh, so that we give it time to actually affect that keystroke and then finally we're going to append that video clip to that timeline in other words it's going to just iterate over the different clips that i have in that folder and it's going to change tracks for each one of those timelines adding the clips to that timeline and creating timelines timelines as it goes let's take a look at how it works inside of davinci resolve all right, so this is my edit window inside of DaVinci Resolve, and you can see that I have a timeline called template, and it has three empty video tracks. So it's pretty much a, a simple empty timeline, but in this case, it already has three tracks. And so we're gonna be changing to video track two and adding each one of the clips to that one. So let's run the script and see what happens. All right, so I am in my terminal and what I'm going to do is call Python 3 and then the name of my file append clips to other tracks. Let's see what happens. So it should go to my folder, identify each one of the media clips that I have in there and then automatically duplicate my template and uh, name each one of the timelines according to my template, uh, giving them unique IDs. And then uh, basically it's going to change to uh, track number two and then append the clips each to its own timeline. And you can see that if we go to the different timelines, then it has added the different videos to each one of the timelines. And it has done so in video track two. All right. So I hope that this has been beneficial. And if you made it till the end, uh, I have a special surprise for you, which is a coupon code for the um, cheat sheet, the DaVinci Resolve API cheat sheet that you can purchase at alexthecreative.com. So there will be a link under the video so you can actually go to alexthecreative.com and purchase that with a 50% coupon code, which is gonna be track 22. So just enter the coupon code TRACK22 and you'll be able to purchase it for 50% off during the month of November because of Black Friday um, 22. November 22, Black Friday, and uh, you can get it for 50% off. Please consider subscribing or liking or commenting on the video below. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.